The Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary. Maury Amsterdam. Larry Matthews. And Mary Tyler Moore. Boy, am I glad this week is over. This has been a rough one. Oh, every bone in my brain aches. <laughs> hey, you know what's good for that? What? When you get home, get a bucket of warm water and soak your head for 20 minutes. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I drown. Do well, you want to get rid of the headache or not? True. Good night, everybody. Good night, buddy. Hey, buddy. hey, look who's here. Jeannie with the light brown scalp. <laughs> Does. Lift it to garbage. <laughs> Rob, I've got to get rid of these toys we used on the show last week. Open a little stand on the corner. <laughs> Maybe something here Richie can use. I'm sure there will be. I'll leave you to distribute them fairly. Well, I've got to run. Yeah, run right into that brick wall out there. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Boy, there sure is a lot of yeah, junk a lot in of here. Who wants a doll? Oh, good. Give it to me. I'll give it to my neighbor's kid. Hey, here's something for Richie. A bathtub toy with a plastic fish in it. I think Richie's a little too old for plastic fish. I'll take it. I don't want to be personal, but aren't you old enough to bathe with real fish? <laughs> it's not for me. It's for Mr. Henderson, my cat. Your cat eats plastic fish? <laughs> it's, it's a, a plastic, plastic cat. cat. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, here's something Richie and I could use at the beach this summer. <laughs> well, we can go to the mountains. Hey, Richie, I love this. Oh, no BB guns. Laura's against guns. Okay, I'll take it. I'll use it on my boyfriend, Herman. <laughs> Can't you just fresh? No, in case he doesn't. <laughs> hey, who wants a teddy bear? Richie's got one. Hey, I'll take it for my wife. She can use it for a pincushion. It's a pretty big pincushion. She got big pins. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot. She's very tall and bully. Who wants two dolls? Oh, give it to me. I got lots of neighbors. <laughs> now, look, this isn't fair. We're grabbing all the toys, and Rob's the only one that's got a kid. She's right. Give us the kid. <laughs> you don't mind, I'd like to keep him a little while longer. You're selfish. <laughs> hey, here's something maybe Richie could use. Oh, what is it? A, a box. box. <laughs> Baby ducks. Oh, aren't they cute? Oh, they're the ones we used in the farm number last week. Well, what are we going to do with live baby ducks? No, what are you going to do with live baby ducks? They can't come home with me unless they want to be cat food. Oh, yeah. How about you, buddy? Oh, all right, I'll take them. My dog likes to eat between meals. <laughs> <laughs> they're cute. <laughs> this one's got a little black spot right on its beak there. Sal, here, you know about these things. You're a woman. Oh, you've noticed. Thank you. I know it all the time. Oh, give him to Richie. He'll love it. But Laura won't. We got him a couple of baby chicks Easter, and they both died the same day. Laura was very upset. No more live chicks. But they're not chicks. They're ducks. Well, it's the same thing. It is not. They got flat noses. <laughs> Even if they had square noses, you can't leave them in the office. That's right. They're definitely not office ducks. <laughs> oh, Rob, look how cute they are. How can Laura not like them? Easy. Let me see. Hey, can't you just picture these little fellas just waddling all over your house, frolicking and quacking, and, uh, and, uh... <laughs> Those andas will get me thrown right out of the house. No, I can't do that, Laura. You guys don't know how much trouble these things can be around the house. Boy, if I was in Laura's shoes, I sure wouldn't want them around. <laughs> that you are soft, though. I think I'm in love. <laughs> You guys are coming home with me. <laughs> Big flat beat shut. Hi, honey. Who's there? Just an average housewife who needs kissing desperately. Oh. It's just, you know, what, what, where's Rich? Where's Rich? Is that all you were going to say? Well, what'd you expect? Well, I don't know. How about why the big sexy hello? Or did you smash a fender? Or how much did the dress cost? Well, I'll try all three. Uh, why the, did you, and how much? Well, because I love you, I didn't, and twelve ninety-five. dollars oh, wonderful. Where is Rich? Wait, he's in the bathtub. Why? Well, I, I didn't want him popping in on us suddenly. Oh, what'd you have in mind? Well, uh... <laughs> 
be alone with you just a minute. But, darling, how romantic. You know something? You've been seeing too many Italian movies. <laughs> Honey, I, I've got a surprise for you. Oh? Yeah. <laughs> a couple of house guests. <laughs> well, I want you to know, first of all, I had absolutely no choice in the matter. I had to bring him home. You've brought Buddy and Sally for dinner, and I'm serving leftovers. No, honey, you're, now you're... What, leftovers? How can we have leftovers? We ate out last night. <laughs> we had breakfast in. <laughs> leftover eggs? No, leftover spaghetti. Oh. <laughs> well, all right, where are they? Well, they're in the closet. Closet? Well, it's all right, honey, they're in a box. Well, what are you talking about? Well, honey, <clears throat> you, you remember last Easter we brought Richie those two cute little baby chicks? Oh, not baby chicks. You didn't. No, I didn't. Don't look relieved yet. I brought baby ducks. You couldn't have. Well, how, why would I lie about a thing like that? <laughs> honey, uh, we used them on a show a couple of weeks ago and they were abandoned. That's step. I saw it. <laughs> I just couldn't leave them sitting in the office over the weekend. Rob, we can't have ducks in the house. They'll be running all over the rugs and quacking and... and... I thought about it. <laughs> Honey, maybe we can put them in the garage and we figure out what to do with them. Don't open them. Don't show them to me. I don't want to see them. I know what you're thinking. What am I thinking? That if I look at them, I'll find them irresistible and let you keep them. Oh, honey, they're so small and cute and are orphans. Rob, please put them back in the box. I don't want to look at them. You're going to have to get rid of them. You're going to have to get rid of them. Me? Why me? You brought them home. Well, that's why. I know them and we're in love. You would just have to get somebody to take them before Richie sees them. And please put them back in the box, Rob. Okay, fellas, sit down. She's not ready. Let me just listen to I will not cute. listen. One of us has to remain strong. Come on, just listen yeah. to them. Wait. Well, I'm hungry. Then give him some food. Honey! What is it, Rich? Hi, Daddy. Uh, hi, Rich. Richie, what are you doing out of the tub? My submarine tank. His submarine tank. Good. Richie, you get back into that tub. The water's gone. Oh, well, then just fill it up again. What's in that box, Mommy? Oh, nothing, Rich. Uh, nothing. Now, you, you go get ready for dinner, please. I heard a baby chick. I would have, oh, of course you heard a baby chick. Give me that good daddy. Do it again. Well, I'll, I'll cheap some more after dinner for you. Oh, please. Rich, you know daddy doesn't like to cheap on an empty stomach. <laughs> now, will you go get, will you go? Why do you cheap and talk at the same time, daddy? Well, cheap and talk, to, well, I, I'm not the only one cheaping. Mama's cheaping, too. Please, right? mommy. Uh, yes, if... <laughs> See, now you go get dressed, Richie. That's real cheaping. Daddy, you have chicks behind you. I want to see the chicks. Honey, what do I do? Show them the dog. Don't ask me anything. Rich, wait a minute. Rich. Look, look I got to understand something. They're just visiting for the weekend, Rich, and we can't have them. They're not ours. We can't. They can't stay. Oh, look what Red Chicken has, Mommy. Yes, I see, dear. They're very cute. I'm going to call this one Oliver and this one Stanley. You're going to call them Oliver and Stanley. <laughs> Look what flat mouths they have, Daddy. Hey, yeah, well, those, those are called beaks, Rich. That's not, they're, we can't, they're not ours. We can't have them. <laughs> Honey, we're stuck. He's got names for them already. This is uh, Oliver. Rob, please put him back. Come on, Oliver, take it easy. <laughs> Richie, watch Stanley and Oliver. Don't let him fall. Honey, how can we give away cute little balls of fur like that? Oh, Rob, those cute little balls of fur are going to grow into big, fat, noisy, dirty, dumb ducks. <laughs> how can you be such a pessimist? A pessimist? Well, yeah, there's a bright side to having ducks around the house, too. There is? Well, yeah. <laughs> when, they, when they grow up, we can have fresh duck eggs for breakfast every morning. From which one, Oliver or Stanley? <laughs> next door? Well, I'm sorry, Millie, but I don't know what to do. No, we can't give him away. Since Oliver died, Richie's become so attached to Stanley that he bursts into tears every time we punish that duck. <laughs> oh, yes, you have to every once in a while. They quack a lot, but they get over it. <laughs> what? Oh, well, we punish him by taking away his bathtub privileges. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, Millie, but listen, we'll try to keep him quiet tonight. I'm sorry. 
Goodbye, Millie. <laughs> Richie, off to school. But I didn't feed Stanley his breakfast. Well, I'll feed him. You get on to school. Come on, Richie. Be late. Goodbye, sweetie. Bye-bye, Mommy. Bye, Stanley. Eat your cereal. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Rich. Ralph, well, don't you think it's time we found him a new home? Shh. Not in front of the D-U-C-K. <laughs> should be swimming in a lake, not in a sink. Oh, I know it, honey. Did I tell you the dream I had last night? No. I dreamed that Stanley was in this in this uh, sink and I accidentally turned on the garbage disposal. Oh, right. <laughs> it's like watermelon wine, oh, feathers and it. everything. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, honey, what are we going to do? I don't know, dear, but the longer we wait, the more difficult it'll be. Yeah, it's going to break Richie's little heart. I know, I know, but we have to do it. Yeah. I'll... I'll tell him tonight. No, we'll tell him together, and that way neither of us will be the villain. Yeah, that's a good idea. Rob? Hmm? You know, he didn't eat his breakfast, and there are feathers all over the sink, and the way he's shaking, and... Oh, Rob, this is the way the other one acted before he died. Well, honey, take it easy. Oh, Rob! Well, don't get excited now. Oh, he... he... You know, it's impossible, but I think he's pale. <laughs> Does those ducks ever get fevers? No, he doesn't have a temperature. Where's his pulse? Oh, Rob, <laughs> Honey, what are we going to do? Doc, you gave the other one hot chicken soup. It didn't do any good. Well, take him to the vet. To the vet? Yes, Rob, please. That poor bird is suffering. What? All right. Well, come on, Stanley. We're going to go get a physical. <laughs> How old do you think Lulu is? I don't know how old. Guess. Well, I'm not too good at guessing ages. Well, I'll give you a hint. She's much older than she looks. Come on, guess. Oh, uh, whisper it. She's very self-conscious about it. How old would you say she is? Well, uh, she's older than she looks, huh? Uh, seven? <laughs> She's four. <laughs> <laughs> Duck lover. <laughs> Miss Singleton, the doctor's ready to see Lulu now. Oh, did Dr. Schweitzer see her test yet? Yes, he did. Good. I hope you don't have to wear glasses. <laughs> glasses? Just for eating. She steps in her bowl. <laughs> who keeps a duck. <laughs> you know, it amazes me how some people can get so wrapped up with their pets. After all, a dog is a dog. <laughs> You're right about that. She talked to that dog as though it were a human being. Now, you don't talk to your duck that way, do you? Well, uh, no. <laughs> See, you're sensible. Thank you. A duck is a duck. That's right. The dog's a dog. And a cat is a person. <laughs> Glasser, doctor will see you now. Now, Lily Beth, don't be afraid. Doctor isn't going to hurt you. He's just going to talk to you. <laughs> she thinks she's pregnant. <laughs> Mr. Fletcher, 
yes. Duke is ready. I'll bring him out in a minute. Oh, thank you very much. That's wonderful. You know, it's a funny thing. I've been over here at least a dozen times, and every time I come, I run into a couple of these weirdos. You know, these characters that treat their pets as if they're people. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Sure is. Tell me, how do you treat that duck? Uh, like, a, like a duck. Good for you. You know, people ought to realize they're nothing but dumb animals. You know, it's, it, it's nice to have pets, and it's a lot of fun to have them around. But I'm not going to have my whole life upset by some dumb animal. Well, that makes sense. All set, Mr. Fletcher. <laughs> Look at him. Come on, baby. Come on now. We're going to go home. How's he been feeling? Is he all right now? That's good. Come on. Boy. Yes. He's a wonderful friend to me, you know, because I treat him like a kangaroo. Come on now. We're going home to mommy. This is what. Here's the door over here, Dookie boy. He kind of likes it here. He's been here for some time. Come on, baby doll. We're going home now. Come on, Mama's waiting for us. Good luck with your duck. If you'll follow me, sir. Oh. Say, that duck doesn't look too good, does he? But no, he doesn't, does he? I mean, he's, he's shaking all the time. His hair and feathers are falling out, and he's been depressed lately. <laughs> Well, he took the duck to the vet hours ago. Well, I'll call you if I hear from him. Right. Goodbye. Come on, Mitch, eat your lunch. I'm not hungry. Richie, dear, it isn't going to do any good to worry about Stanley. Listen, why don't you go next door and play with Freddie? But can I wait for Daddy to come back with him? Well, darling, I don't know when he's coming. Rob! Daddy! Where's Stanley? Rob, where's the duck? Well, hold on, you two, if it... Just give me a minute. I'll tell you about Stan. Well, Rob, is he all right? Where is he? Rich? I want Stanley. Yeah, sit down, Rich. Rich, you know, Stanley was a very sick duck. Oh, Rob, no. Where is he? Rich, Rich, you, you've heard the expression, like a duck out of water. Daddy, is he dead? No, no, Rich, he's, he's alive. But he's alive because now he's a duck in water. Rich, I, I put Stanley in the lake. You well, you see, Rich... But that's not true. He's my duck, not yours, and I want him back. Go get him, Daddy. I can't, Rich. Now, if you just listen to Daddy for one minute... No, I won't. You'll get my duck away. Only because he can't live here anymore, Rich. Well, if he can't, then I don't want to live here either. Ricky, where are you going? To live with Stanley. <laughs> you or me? Me. bathing suit? I don't need a bathing suit. Well, I don't know. If you're going to live with Stanley, you'll probably spend a lot of time in the water. <laughs> I'll live with me on the shore. Live with you on the shore? I thought you said you love Stanley. I do. You and Mommy don't. Well, we do, Rich. I don't think you do. I do so. I kiss him on the head every night. Well, Rich, that isn't all there is to love. Then why do you kiss me on the head? Don't you love me? Well, of course I do, Rich. But that isn't all there is to love. If, if I just kissed you on the head and then did all the things that were bad for you, that wouldn't be love at all. What would? What would? That's a pretty big question. Rich, come here and sit down a minute, will you? I'm not finished packing. Well, you can finish packing later. It'll just take a minute. Come on. Now, what, what would be love? Well, Rich, let's just say that one little part of love would be 
that you think more of what's good for the one you love than you think of what's good for yourself. I think of what's good for Stanley. I gave him my cornflakes. Well, yeah, Rich, but we didn't give him something that he wanted a lot more than that. Like oatmeal cookies? No, Rich. <laughs> His freedom. Rich, the duck doctor said that that's why he was sick, and maybe that's why Oliver died. We made Oliver die? Well, could be. See, Rich, we were having so much fun with Oliver, we never stopped to think that maybe he'd have more fun if he was in a pond with other ducks. But we loved him. Well, yes, Rich, but that was a selfish love. Maybe, maybe we loved Oliver to death. Can you do that? Well, Rich, you love your goldfish, don't you? Yeah. Well, you wouldn't take one out of the tank and hug them and kiss them and make them sleep on a pillow beside you just because you loved them, would you? No. Well, why not? He died. That's right, Rich. And what kind of love would that be? Selfish love. That's right, Rich. And it's very selfish for us to make Stanley stay in that kitchen sink when he'd much rather be in the park with his friends. <laughs> now, ducks love ducks more than they do people. And it's right for people to love people a lot more than they do ducks. And Mommy and I love you much, much more than we could ever love a duck. And I, I guess that's why Mom and I'd be very, very hurt if you went away and lived with Stanley. What? Would Stanley really die if we brought him back home? Well, Richie, the point is that even if he lived, he'd be much happier where he is now. Was he happy when you put him in the lake? You let me tell you about that. As soon as I put Stanley in the lake, a big, beautiful white duck came swimming up. Like Oliver? Well, yeah, kind of like Oliver. Only I think a better name for it would be Olivia. <laughs> Well, she kind of circled around old Stanley a couple of times, just looking him over, and then she swam away. And Stanley just sat there floating. I think he was trying to decide what to do. And all of a sudden, just like that, he started paddling those big flat feet of his and took off after Olivia like a jet speedboat. Did he catch Olivia? I'll say he did. I don't think we have to worry much about Stanley anymore. Daddy. What? Can we visit them? Well, sure we can visit them. After all, we're the only close family he has in Westchester. Is it all right if I bring them a wedding present? <laughs> sure it is. What would, what would you got in mind? Well, how are a nice box of oatmeal cookies and a jar of that black jelly? Black jelly? Yeah. Mommy had it in the refrigerator. It was spoiled. It smelled like fish, but Stanley loved it. <laughs> Black jelly that smelled like fish. I don't, no wonder Stanley enjoyed that, Richie. We were saving that for a special occasion. That was $10 worth of black caviar. Are you mad at me? Oh, of course I'm not. Sorry, Rich. This is a very special occasion. I hope you don't mind me letting myself in. I found a key under the mat. Well, no, not at all. But what are you doing up here? I had to come up and tell you, Sally and me have been worried about your duck, you know, being sick. And we figured out the reason why. It's because he's lonely. Yeah, we figured that out, too. You know what I did? I took Stanley to the lake and put him in there with a lot of other ducks. And boy, is he happy. We just went up and visited him. You mean you, you don't want another duck? <laughs> <laughs> Sally. <laughs> Thank you.